today we're talking about finely crafting traps, having the fastest possible trap. Uh, if you can't imagine a trap is buried in the mud, snow, ice, and when your target steps on the pan, bang, your trap has to overcome the snow, the ice, the mud, and whatever else is on top of it. Um, your trap needs to be as slick and as fast moving as possible. Now, this is a Duke number four. You notice the jaws are loose. Obviously, you want to bend in the end of the jaws so that the trap stays intact while the animal is there. Uh, it is my recommendation that the trap is uh, somewhat loose so that the springs are not overcoming uh, tension or problems in the trap. Uh, I've got the springs undone from this. Um, you'll also notice that I've cleaned this up, slight radius, and the tops of the levers are very clean. Now, all this can be done uh, with a flat file. It can also be done with sandpaper depending on how far you want to take it. After all this is done, you want to dip your trap. Wax, full metal jacket, etc. Uh, and how do you attain that that looseness? Well, uh, that's a Victor number four. Here's an old knight of number three. Uh, very good trap, but after a few catches, and maybe uh, the trap gets run over, or gets mashed, a cow steps on it, uh, you have to tune these traps somewhat. Uh, you notice this jaw is fairly loose. This one is very tight. So I'm going to slightly tweak the end of this jaw. Just very slightly. And then test afterward. And you can go forward and backward and just find that sweet spot. Now obviously you want to make sure your trap frame is square. And by that I mean that your bends are 90 degrees in your frame. working this and working this until we find the sweet spot. Both sides a little at a time. And we want everything to be symmetrical, of course. 